everybody, it's Jay Morris from Natural Health Supply, and I'm in a good mood. Well, mostly because I just finished zapping. Now this is my personal secret to the universe. And I want to tell you a little bit more about it. I first got into zapping, geez, I think in 1996, my dad handed me Hulda Clark's book and said, can you build me a zapper? And I said, yes, I can build you a zapper. And I went to Radio Shack, I bought all the parts, and I built my dad a zapper that looked something like this. It was a little mess of wires and a bunch of parts and things, and you just hook it up and it would work. And so I made a bunch of these for my family. We started using it, and we all found that it helped us out in all kinds of ways. Anytime I felt run down or under the weather, I would just uh, get out my homemade zapper, and I would uh, zap, you know? Pretty good, not bad. Now the zapper technology, though, when I started researching it more and more, I discovered that it's the 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 concept had been around for like a hundred years. It, Nikola Tesla discovered that uh, when he was working with radio frequency, that uh, various people were getting better, like his assistants and and people had like like cuts or infections and things. They would suddenly stop hurting and feel better around the RF frequency. And uh, they studied it further, brought in a few medical people, and they started calling it diathermy. And uh, they studied things with like ultraviolet wands and all these kind of interesting things. And so. I got real interested in the history of frequency medicine. It's, uh, it's not real medical stuff. It's a folk medicine. Most of this stuff is public domain. The information is out there for anyone to uh, experiment with. None of it's medically approved. Most of it has been uh, kind of pushed under the rug. Uh, but I found it to be incredibly effective. I've been doing it for a very long time. I feel like I stopped aging. I mean, I, I was born in 1964. It's 2012. Uh, so that makes me 48 years old. And I feel very young, fit, healthy, and vibrant. And I'm real glad to have this secret to the universe as part of my regimen for self-help. So let's check it out. Let's go play with the computer a little bit. I'm going to show you some of the stuff I've researched and discovered along the way. Now here's one of my favorite illustrations. This is the sacred cow, the pioneers of frequency healing. You've got Nikola Tesla, George Lukowski, Royal Raymond Reif, Wilhelm Reich, Hulda Clark, Stephen Kelly, Bob Beck, Robert Becker, Albert Abrams. They've all put in their two cents worth into studying frequencies and how they can uh, possibly heal the human body. Uh, I guess uh, the theory is is kind of like a, a singer breaking glass. Let's see what we got here. Come up here. Now I love the show Mythbusters because, uh, you know, because everybody loves the show Mythbusters. <laughs> And there they are, breaking a glass. So a frequency can break that glass, which we just saw. You've got, you know, this long history of frequency research. As Nikola Tesla doing what he did best, freaking everybody out with electricity. He developed his Tesla coils, his AC motor, you know, all this great stuff. A lot of Tesla science was buried with the man, but he had a buddy. He had a buddy named George Lukowski. They got together and they worked on a device called a multi-wave oscillator. I think this is George here, sitting between his two coils of this multi-wave oscillator. Now, uh, George Lukowski, he wrote a book called The Secret of Life. It's probably where I got my Secret of the Universe kind of thing. This is Lukowski's Secret of Life. 
easy book to have as his buddy Tesla hanging out. And uh, patients could basically sit between these two coils and uh, they would battle cancer. Here you have this fellow with cancer and then a fellow without cancer later on. So they would uh, basically zap these people with these large pieces of equipment. Let's see if there's anything else here from the secret of life. Ah, you gotta love Google, don't you? So you can see these, this device. You have these two circular coils. The patient would be in between them. There's this real sweet video. At Brooklyn's all year summer resort, the sun's curative rays are passed in January as well as in June by this multiple wave oscillator, which concentrates electro frequencies with much energy but little heat to play upon the delicate skin with great therapeutic results, removing wrinkles when and if found, but never disturbing a dimple. Isn't that fun? Look at them go. So that was like, those devices were from the 40s. So you have the multiple wave oscillator. Now the, the concept of George Lukowski's multiple wave oscillator was that you would bathe the body in all kinds of frequencies at once and then the cells within the body would resonate and uh, the resonant frequencies would just put the cells back into harmony with themselves. And so if your cells go out of harmony, you have disease, but if you can bring them back and tune your body back up like an instrument, then you would be uh, good to go. So that's, that's, that's Lukowski and, and Tesla's uh, big achievement was the multiple wave oscillator. Then you have, uh, like, much later on, let's see here in the examiner here, in, San Diego. You got Mr. Royal Rife. Royal Rife was a scientist who did extraordinary research and he had gone through a process of inventing a microscope. And here is his microscope. <clears throat> There's another view of his microscope. Now Royal Rife he, he claimed that he could uh, cure cancer. He could uh, use frequencies and he could uh, basically bathe a patient using his frequency device and it would smash the germs and the disease much like the singer breaking the glass using resonant frequencies. And so Royal Rife, he would watch cells, germs, whatever he could get under his microscope, and then he would adjust frequencies until he uh, found what he would call their mortal oscillatory rate. So here's a, a chart from the Rife Ray machine where he is talking about typhoid and staphylococcus and E. coli, streptococcus, anthrax, and he's got all these frequencies charted at what, what killed what. And so if he wanted to get rid of the anthrax, he would work here. It would dial 81.26. Frequency is 139 kilohertz. Very interesting research. So using frequencies to kill germs and to boost the immune system and to do all that kind of goodness. Here we have Tesla. We got Royal Rife. The equipment started getting smaller and smaller as electronics became more and more uh, digitized and we've got the uh, we've got chips now which are really great. We've got the integrated chips and integrated circuits. So we've got Bob Beck and Hulda Clark who are more modern day frequency healers. Bob Beck created a zapper and Hulda Clark created a zapper. And so now 
This zapper is a simple device, about the size of an iPhone, and you hold two handles, turn it on, and you get the benefit of uh, an entire room full of equipment that Tesla and Rife had to struggle with. And so now we, have, we move on to these other scientists who have uh, done a lot of research and taking it even further. Now, Dr. Halda Clark, she wrote the book, uh, The Cure for All Cancers, The Cure for All Diseases. Very radical person. And I, I've read all of her books, some of them several times, because they're so interesting. When you uh, check out the internet, there is plenty of information on Dr. Hulda Clark. You also need to know that almost all this equipment, whether it was Tesla's, George Lukowski's, or Royal Rife, uh, they all ended up in the Quackery Museum, the Quack Museum of the Smithsonian. And so a lot of this stuff has been just uh, represented as being ineffective, but then you have all these people that claim that they've been helped by, by it. And so I would suggest trying it yourself because building a zapper won't cost very much. It's, it's rather cheap. And nowadays we've even gone on, the FDA now has approved uh, microcurrent. So here we have a man who has smashed his hands to smithereens and after surgery he didn't have any movement of any kind. And then, after the microcurrent, uh, the nerves found, found a way to heal using all this, and they got better, and he's got complete mobility. The circulation is very bad. So I, I just uh, show to you that after one month intensive daily treatment, this patient uh, can close up the hand, but uh, not, not a properly, not a proper condition yet and the circulation has been a lot better and then um, and then I he had two months of a daily intensive therapy and then now his hand uh, two years later then is he, he can have full function almost full function 95 percent and a good grip etc so you know people are getting well through using electricity and uh, microcurrent is now uh, FDA accepted as a real medical treatment. So that's very exciting. It's a big step ahead. And so I suggest people get out there, read your Tesla, read your Lukowski, and read your Hulda Clark. Stuff's readily available. You can get that stuff. You can visit the HuldaClark.com website if you're interested in Dr. Clark's books. I think you should get out there and do it. It's a great project for science fairs. If you have a, a kid in school, you can build a zapper and talk about the, the frequency medicine and the history of it. Royal Rife was in San Diego, very important California scientist. The history there is amazing. The research is well documented in the newspapers. There's plenty out there to, to read about. And it's interesting that how fast all that information disappeared. So check it out. If you're a conspiracy theorist, you'll love it. If you're a punk rocker and just want to, like, you know, break away from the system and, 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 and stick it to the man, this zapper is fun. If you're under the weather and don't have a solution, give it a try. If you've tried everything and nothing's helped you, give it a try, or if you're just curious about having something around. Because, you know, these, these are really tough times. The economy is really rough right now. And so I think that if the, at most all you do is change the 9-volt battery in this. There's no other cost after you've purchased it. It'll take care of you for a very long time. So if you find it effective, I bet you won't let it go. The only people that seem to say bad things about this after are people who have never, ever tried it. But if you talk to someone who owns one, they don't even want to loan it to you. You come to their house and use it, but they're not going to separate themselves from it. It's that good. 
I keep one in the car in case I get some bad food when I'm out at restaurants or something or on the go. I travel a lot, and so if I am uh, eat some uh, the other day, I had some bad food and I zapped, and my tummy felt better. And I was awfully glad to have it in the car. So that's a clever place to keep one. So I travel with it. I keep one at home. It's uh, my little secret to the universe. And all I do is uh, I'm just inviting you to research, read, and experiment on your own. Thanks for listening. Have fun.